So over here, you can see this is our workspace. So let's talk about the user interface and the controls in Tinkercad. Over here at the top left corner, okay, you have this Tinkercad logo, okay. So this Tinkercad logo, basically, when you click on it, it will bring you back to your dashboard, okay. So if I click on it, okay, so it basically bring me back to this Tinkercad dashboard, okay. So this is the project that we created just now. So if we click on it, we can have a view of the project, okay. For now, it's empty because we haven't do anything, okay. We can go for view and we can add image, okay. So over here, you have the download and tinker this, okay. Tinker this is mean by, it's mean that you are going to edit your model, okay. So you can click on this or you can do by clicking on this button over here, okay. So, and this control, okay, is for you to delete, duplicate or move the project and properties okay you have a few settings so now let's go back to the book plane okay so after the dashboard you have the name of your project so initially tinkercad will generate a name for you but you can change the name by clicking on it and you type the name of your project so first let me type a name for this project, okay? So I will be giving it uh, as the name as project one, okay? And then you press enter and you will have the name change, okay? After that, at the right corner of your screen, you have this few options, okay? So first, this one is 3D design where you can design your model, okay? And you can block it, okay, which means you can build it in block, or you can convert your design, your 3D model into Lego bricks, okay. You have the invite people, okay. This option is for you to invite your friends or teachers to help you to design your 3D model. And you have your personal ID here, okay. So Furthermore, if we move button downwards, okay, you have the import, export, and send to. So at the import, for import, it means by you are importing a 3D model. So if you click on it, okay, you can drag and drop your 2D or 3D model here. And then you can import the model to your work plane and you can do your 3D modeling. Okay. So in Tinkercad, it only supports this few type, okay, which is STL file, OBJ file, and SVG. So STL file and OBJ is for 3D modeling, and SVG is for 2D. After that, you have this file size, okay. Tinkercad only accept the files up to 25 megabytes, okay, MB. So I click on the X, okay. After that, we have the export, okay? Export means by you can downloading, download your completed 3D model. So if I click on it, so for now, because we have an empty workspace, but if you finish your model, it will give you these three, I mean, four options to download, okay? So, for 3D printing, you can download in OBJ or STL, and you have one more option is GLP, okay? And then for laser cutting, which is 2D, you can download it as SVG. Beside that, over here, you have the 3D print, okay? This one is for you to send your model to your 3D printer using Wi-Fi, okay? So some of the 3D printer, some brand of it, support Wi-Fi. So over here, if we close down the drop, uh, the pop-up, and then we go to, here we have a send to, okay? So this one also the same, you can share your project with others. So if you click on it, you can share it with people, okay? 
Over here, you can share it to 3D communities, okay, like Thingiverse, my mini factory, okay, help 3D, okay, this is the place where we download free 3D models, okay, or you want to share it with, uh, to Autodesk also can. So, this is about Sand 2. So, that's basically about the user interface and the controls in Tinkercad.